Welcome Pisces to your chakra reading for December. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you and your chakras this month. The best chakra for you this month is heart chakra, making sure that that heart chakra is open. There's a lot of compassion going around you and spirit just wants to make sure that you're actually open to receiving it back, right? With the heart chakra open and saying, I'm not blocking out the love. I'm allowing the love to flow, so that way it can actually go back out, right? Okay, so beautiful. And you have angels and masters coming out, number 33. 33 is double number, so it is talking about being guided by angels. Angels assisting you during this time of your heart chakra, right? Giving the compassion, allowing you to feel the compassion. And then, like I said, once you feel it and you have it and you're open, then you'll shine it back out, right? Okay, seeking the truth. It's all about seeking the truth and having the understanding, pulling back the veil and seeing and speaking exactly what you need. Um, this, is a, this is a communication card. So it's talking about communicating and seeking the truth. The truth is whatever your truth is, right? Everybody has their own truth to why your heart chakra might be blocked. Maybe it was because you were hurt. More than likely, it's always because we were hurt. So we don't want to always open it as much as... Um, as it should be, right? So Spirit is saying, it's okay, I'm guiding you. I'm opening up all your chakras, but I need you to open up this one here so you can really get the other ones really going. The heart chakra, friends, is the middle one. This is where, once your heart chakra's open, it really allows all the other chakras to really start taking place, okay? This way, all the intentions, all the desires, and all the stability can really, and abundance can really start coming forth towards you. Once you start really opening up the compassion to that, right, balance. This is going to actually allow you to balance yourself and feel balanced. It's going to bring back all the balance that you are maybe even seeking. To so, so seek the truth is going to balance yourself. But you have to have the understanding within yourself um, to why um, you have it blocked, barred, maybe open just a little, right, Maybe I give, you know, there's a lot of people too, also that they give, but they don't allow to receive back, right? So it could even be a situation like that. Like, I will give you love, but no, 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 no. I don't want your love. Thank you. I just wanted to give it. <laughs> well, to be balanced, you need to give it and receive it. So Spirit says, I'm guiding you. I'm here to help you out. I want you to get everything that you deserve, everything that you have coming, right, to you to keep you balanced. And we have seven over here again. So it's seven, right? Seven. Oh, my gosh, look at all the sevens. Two sevens and a 33 double number. Spirit speaking of heavenly things. This is definitely a divine reading. 100. And it's about your what? Stability of your heart chakra. Manifesting law and attraction. It's talking about taking action, allowing to, to see the magic happen for you. And when we're talking about magic, it's metaphoric, right? We're not talking about, you know, that kind of magic, right? This isn't Harry Potter, okay? We're talking about allowing the magic to come through, allowing you to feel the magic of love, allowing you to feel the way it's supposed to be, and allowing yourself to also give it and receive it the way it's supposed to be balanced, and holding tight, this will actually give you more control. And you might feel like you're having control. And being that these are your cards, I feel like you are law and attracting something that you can hold true and have control over. You want something that's true. You want real love. You want this. But it's just getting there. And it's hard. It's hard, right? Because if I was hurt and I gave everything to you and then you did this to me, I'm law and attracting what real love could be. But it's hard for me to actually open my heart to receive it. So that's why the angels are here to say, it's okay, let go a little. You don't have to hold so tight. You don't, you know, bar yourself down. Because when you're holding yourself down like that, you're just building a barrier. Right? Now they have to get past, you know, the bridge and the alligators and the moat. and You know, it's going to be hard for them to get past all these little things. 
right? So they're saying, I want you to bring the bridge down little by little by little to allow them to come through. You want it, but, and you seek it, but to have it, you have to seek the truth of why it's not 100% coming the way you want it to. How tightly are you going to hold that bridge to you? You got to let the bridge down, right? You got to open up a little, right? Okay, let's see. If it's not love, it could be just abundance. It could be anything, right? You know what it is, right? If it's not love, throw it away. You know what it is. It's whatever your law and attracting, whatever you're manifesting. If it's a new job and you don't think you're good enough, but yet you're hold tight to getting this job and you don't think you're good enough, what do you think's going to happen? You're not going to get that job, right? It's going to be harder to get that job. Okay, my friends. Look, you have all the independence. You have all the things that you need. You're well-deserved. If you seek the truth within yourself, you deserve this. And this is what the angels are trying to say. You have a well-deserved gift coming toward you. I just need you to open up a little so that I can allow it to come through. You keep asking, I hear you. I hear you. I hear your cries. I hear you. No matter what the situation is, I hear you. I want to give this to you, but it's you who's not allowing me. Your heart chakra is not open enough. I can't get to you. I need you open. I need you balanced. Support. Yes, I want to give you this support. I want you to balance yourself, though, and give yourself support also within your heart chakra. The reason the green's coming out is because they're talking about what? The heart chakra. I need you to support yourself within this situation. See that you deserve this. See that this is what you truly are compassionate about, but yet allow it to come through. Yes. I see that you're strong. I see that you want to take on the reins. Boy, are you taking on the reins. I see that you're strong. I see that you're strong, right? But the problem is you're too strong. You're too strong. You're not allowing it to come through. You're, you're barricading it so much that I can't push the energy through it. Right? So over on the, the magician, you have the transformation. They're saying, I want you to transform this a little. I want you to let go a little bit. And that would just be allowing it to come through. And once you do so and you let go, then I have this swift movement for you. It will be so, so swift that you won't even see. You won't need to look back to see, oh, do I need to hold on tight to this? Oh, do I need to put some more alligators in the moat? Oh, you won't even know because you won't be looking backwards. You'll only be looking forwards because that's where you're going to find the contentment. You're going to find that you feel comfortable. Yes, this is where you're going to see your ships coming in the way you want them to come in. Because Spirit says this is the way it's supposed to be. And this is the love. And it doesn't mean that you're always looking for love. It could be a job. It could be the car. It could be whatever you want. The th problem here, or it's not a problem, excuse me. Let's not put it that way. The thing here isn't 100% we're talking about love. We're talking about the unity between your higher self and yourself. Your higher self says, I need this chakra open. That's a part of me. This is the energy of your soul. I need you to unite with me and give me some room. Because remember, there's a subconscious and an, or an unconscious and a consciousness within you. Right? Your human self and your spirit self, you're not allowing your spirit self to have control where it needs to have the control. The control that it needs, the 100% the control piece of it is the heart chakra. That's the energy. It's a major energy source. That's the major battery that runs all the chakras. And it's saying, if you don't let me do what I need to do, how am I going to do anything? Right? So I need you to unite with me. Give me some room so that I can do my job. Right? Okay. And the animal that you need to be. Let's see what's going on over here. Such a beautiful reading. And that will allow spirit to do its job. Right. And yes, you know, this is the star soul chakra. So you are connected from your, you know, from your crown chakra at the top of your head to the spirit realm. And that's where this is coming from. So it's trying to shoot down. See, it's up here. And it's trying to shoot down to allow all the chakras to 
really start spinning so that you can have what you want. We are all made of energy, right? Everything in the world is made of energy. And the spirit takes care of the energy. And I say, well, without that, I, I'm having a hard time helping you. <laughs> okay. Be the snake. Yeah. Live according to your divine essence. Nice. Very beautiful. And that's exactly what spirit's saying. You know, and look, it has every chakra in it, just like this card does, because it's saying this is a divine thing, because I told you this is a divine reading. And this is saying, I need to be able to help you from this source, from up here to down here, from up here to down here, so that we can get everything moving accordingly. Okay? I just need you to help me. It really is. It's, it's, it's help me. Right? Open up just a little. But you have to seek the truth within yourself first. Do some reflection so that you can see, oh, when I pull back the veil a little bit, then I understand why I'm holding so tight to this. I understand where this is coming from. Uh, you're right. I do need to let go a little. Give myself some room. Because it's almost to the point where you're not allowing yourself to have any room to breathe. Right? You're holding on to the change so strong. Right? I mean, look, in the, this card, if you think if she was holding onto the chains of this tiger so tight, you'd have a choke chain on and you're just choking the crap out of him. And that's kind of what's going on over here, right? Kind of choking yourself. So you need to give the tiger some room to uh, to breathe. It, actually, it, thinking of it that way, it almost looks like he's panting. If you guys, you know, kind of see it that way. He's not snarling. He's panting. I can't breathe. Right? So, yeah, she's like so ripping him. So using the third eye, and as you see, she has her third eye here. So but when you're using your third eye and you're really get, digging deep into reflectiveness, um, you'll actually let go. You will. You'll let go because you're going to realize, you know, you're choking the tiger over here. Your soul doesn't want to be choked. Your heart doesn't want to be held back so much. We're not here to close our hearts down. We're here to open the hearts up. That's the whole point of this mission. This whole mission is to love, have compassion. It's really the whole point. That's why it's the middle piece of the whole puzzle is love, compassion, showing others love, receiving love, giving love. That's the point. That's it. That's one of the biggest pieces to the whole puzzle of why we are here as humans is to learn the heart chakra. The rest of it just goes in to play so that we can live, right? So we can survive, get the loved ones we want, get the things that we need to survive, right? Speak the love, see the love, know the love. So anywhere you want to see it, it's all about the heart chakra. It's really what it is. And that's the divine essence. And that's why this is so important. Because once you see the love, know the love, then you become as spirit you, because you become connected one with spirit and you understand your spirit. And you're like, oh, I get it. Right. Okay, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.